What's going on, everybody here? Welcome back to No Man's Sky. So today we've got ourselves an update. We've got the Sentinel update. And you know what? It includes a lot more than just Sentinels. And we're going to hop on into it. Hopefully you guys enjoy. If you do, like, subscribe, all the fun things. Again, uh, this is going to be a multi-part kind of thing. We're going to be checking out the update in multiple parts because there's just a lot to go over here. So if you do enjoy, maybe consider subscribing uh, and hit the bell icon to be notified of future videos as well. So let's first start off by heading to our space anomaly because there's a whole bunch of upgrades here. There's some new things to check out and I want to see exactly what we can get from just uh, the space anomaly, just like purchasing things. Whereas other things we might have to unlock by doing some of the new stuff. I don't know, I'm super excited. I am super excited about this. Feels good to be back playing No Man's Sky again. Uh, this is just one of those games that it's just like evergreen. It's just, it's always a good time to play. So, um, all right, let's see what we got in here. So there is a new mission set through uh, through Polo and Nada that I want to check out as well. But I want to just start off with the basics here. I want to start off by seeing what upgrades we can directly get. Oh, that's right. So the cases on the space stations are new now. You can see what the tool is before you even get to it. You can see like through the glass front on there. That's pretty neat. Okay, so multi-tool research. We've got a few new things in here and I want to check this bad boy out. So let's research some multi-tool upgrades here. So we've got, um, on this multi-tool specifically, I have the pulse splitter uh, and upgraded pretty far. It's not really the greatest thing. However, there's a new thing for it. Impact igniter, a powerful combina or co combat upgrade for the pulse splitter. This module installs a series of delic uh, calibrated fuel injector. It makes things burn when you shoot it. Causes targets hit by the pulse splitter to burn for a short while, causing additional damage how amazing is that that is super cool and then we also have a ricochet module now i'm kind of curious if these two could like work together like if you can have a ricochet and then also um uh light things on fire um and then we also have a completely new weapon type we have a neutron cannon which is a um it's kind of like a charge weapon like you can shoot it uh you can shoot it quickly or you can charge it which is kind of cool and then a p field compensator powerful upgrade additional resonance additional projectiles at higher speed so basically those two upgrades right there that is really cool um this i really want to get the cloaking device on activation uh active camouflage effect this uh, uh this temporary effect can be used to escape unwanted hostile attention active camouflage may be aborted upon uh dramatic exposure exosuit maneuvers such as jetpack activation or by activating a multi-tool subsystem so basically you can go invisible and like walk around like how cool is that oh my gosh we've got so many things to do so what i want to do here oh and then we've also got our paralysis mortar which is a part of the plasma launcher um it will actually uh uh it's effective against both biological and electronic enemies but it's like a stun grenade so it like stuns them which is oh my gosh super cool so what i need to do and what i need to figure out is the multi-tools that i want to do this to um ideally we want to make the ultimate combat multi-tool and they have increased the amount of multi-tools you can have now. So I think before it was three multi-tools and now you can have up to six, which is epic. That is absolutely awesome. But they did actually add a new type of multi-tool as well. So they have the new Royal multi-tool. So essentially what it says, players who brave a raid on the Sentinel pillars may be re rewarded with a new class of Royal multi-tool and oh my gosh do these things look epic so um let's do this for now since uh let's see what i have okay so i've got this multi-tool that has the pulse splitter on it pretty sure this is like my primary multi-tool right now um i want to go ahead and get the igniter for it because that's kind of what we're using here and then we don't actually even have a secondary uh a weapon type on this thing so i'm thinking the let's see here let's pop in here let's go ahead and let's just get let's just snag the upgrades shall we because i think we can we can afford all of them so let's grab uh this guy let's grab the impact igniter and then i do want to also grab the um i want to grab the invisibility cloak i want to grab this thing the cloaking device that thing sounds amazing um and then the paralysis mortar that would be super handy against fighting the enemies and we're going to be doing that because you can bet that i want to try to get a royal multi-tool here like absolutely without a doubt so let's go ahead and get the paralysis mortar here and then let's pop into here let's see what we need to what we can install 
so multi-tool i want to go ahead and install new technology i want to install the i want to install the cloaking device so let's go ahead and get our iron batteries in there so we'll get those ready and then i also want to go ahead and install a plasma launcher and the paralysis module but i'm pretty sure this is an upgrade for this so i think we have to have the plasma launcher first and then we can install our paralysis mortar which is fantastic and then for this for our um our pulse splitter we need to go ahead and activate the impact igniter so let's go ahead and get those going and uh yeah okay so we've got a whole bunch of upgrades here i'm gonna go through i'm gonna try to get the stuff for them i'm gonna get them installed and then i want to try to take on a uh, i want to try to take on one of those pillars i want to see if i can find a pillar i want to try to take on a pillar and i want to see how it is now we might get wrecked because like let's face it um combat has never really been an issue like once you get a decent multi-tool like you're pretty much good you're pretty much set so uh, i'm really excited to check that out so yeah let me get these uh let me get these installed let me see if i can find something and then we're gonna try out the new combat system and try this and see so we're gonna see how this works now also while i'm thinking about it i do want to address i'm not going to be covering absolutely everything in the update in this video because there's just like a lot to cover um and in the next video we're going to be covering the minotaur suit the um the combat in the minotaur suit and then also the ai minotaur suit because there's like you can get down an ai friend that will help you in combat which sounds super amazing so those are gonna be future episodes um i know there's a lot of content here so don't worry if i miss something because like i said we're not covering absolutely everything right now that's why you need to be subscribed for future videos okay i got everything installed nothing was super hard to uh to source now i actually got lucky because i did not actually have any of the uh unstable plasma but pick that up it's kind of pricey but uh about 58 so we should have we should be good with that and that's essentially for those uh the stun grenades the new stun grenades uh we've got ammo we're looking good on that and then we did get the uh, the cloaking device installed as well so and then i figured we'd stop over here and kind of see what multi-tool this guy has now Oh, uh, it's this little teeny tiny guy. I like that you can see it without actually having to go over there. So that's super handy. All right. So now let's pop down and let's see if we can't start some trouble here. Kind of see what's going on. I want to try out this cloaking device. Oh, I'm so excited. And I want to see the pulse splitter uh, ignite things on fire. Oh my gosh. That's going to be super cool. Now the buildings that these um, sentinels are going to be part of i don't know if they're going to be i don't know if you can search for them i don't really know how that works i've also seen that if you uh take down one of these pillars that you can actually disable the sentinels on the entire planet for uh for so long i'm not sure what's going on with that what is this that's a distress beacon we've got an abandoned building all right we're going to pop down to this planet right here because there's a high sentinel activity and I want to see if we can't find one of these, uh, one of these, these things. Cause there's so many new sentinels here as well that it, this is, this is going to be interesting. Ooh, this is a very, uh, very red esque planet. Okay. So we are going to be looking for a sentinel pillar here. So the sentinel pillars appear to be uh things that you have to you have to kind of, like you either have to take down enemies and find a uh, like a map kind of thing and then that map will reveal a location or you have to survive level five sentinel attacks and then it will be revealed uh where one is at so holy moly there's an archive right there that is so funny what are the odds i land right next to an archive so we're gonna go ahead we're going to uh, we're gonna start a fight here we're going to start a fight. Uh, switch alt, plasma launcher, paralysis motor, cloaking device. Oh my gosh. Okay. So cloaking, let's just, let's just look at the cloaking device here. Um, I'm going to switch my camera. So you can actually see it. But if we do cloaking device. Oh my gosh. And then it just recharges. Oh, that is super cool. Okay, so let's see if we can't find a, um, see if we can't find a, a little drone dude and see what happens. Okay, we're going to swap back. To, I don't, I'm not, a, I'm not a third person camera. I like, I like my first person. But we need to find a drone. It says there's high sentinel activity here and I can't even find a single one. 
Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. All right. What's up, my dude? So I want you to start scanning me. I want you to scan me. And I want to see if I can just cloak right away from you. Okay, so I'm cloaked. But he can still see me. Interesting. Oh, no. Now he knows. doesn't know where I'm at. Okay. All right. Let's start blasting. Uh, pulse splitter can supposedly catch things on fire now. Oh, he's on blue fire. Oh, nice. Okay. This is where we, uh, this is where we, we stick our ground. Uh, salvage glass. That is a new item as well. Oh, oh, hello, little dudes. I'm pretty sure these guys are the new like tanks. Oh, you put out a little shieldy guy there, huh? I don't know if I like the pulse sweater. Salvage glass. Uh, we have a chance to get a map out of these guys too. So reinforcements inbound. Should we go ahead and switch our device to the paralysis mortar? Get him. Oh my gosh. That is actually super cool. Oh, you're a healer. Oh, make sure you take out the healer. So you're a little healer bot. Oh no, you're the, okay. So there's different types of bots now too. There's, um, I can't remember what they're called, but there's like a guardian kind of bot, the little, that tall guy. And that one can actually summon in more bots at will. You know, these guys are on fire. Are they doing like a lot of damage though? I mean, it's doing decent damage here. All right, let's see if we can't find ourselves. We're getting some salvaged glass here. Like I said, I really want, I want to find one of these maps, these combat maps or something. Oh, this is exciting. Oh yeah, hit him and then the paralysis kicks in. Hit him, paralysis kicks in. Now there's also a, uh, a weapon that does more damage to enemies that are paralyzed. Oh, it's a dog. What's up, dude? Paralysis. Oh, you can't heal him. That is not allowed. Oh, there he is. He just called in more sentinels for us. Oh, you get your butt back here. You are not allowed to do that. You know, the, uh, the paralysis thing is great for reloads. We're going to take care of the flying guys first. So, I mean, he's doing decent damage while he's on fire. Like, it doesn't look anything crazy, though. All right, let's see what we got here. Salvage glass, salvage glass. Projectile ammunition. Salvage glass. Do we have any more? Uh, oh, what's that? This one's a blue container. Projectile ammunition. Okay. Boop. So we need to take this guy out first. Because that guy's going to call in more guys. We need to take out the healers next. Man, I wish this thing had a bigger clip capacity. Oh, I see you back here. Hiding. Oh, there's a new mech. Okay. Now, this mech right here is going to be part of us uh, unlocking our own AI. Because I believe we can actually salvage parts off these things, if I'm not mistaken. Hold on. Let's take out the little guys. Uh, boop.
Oh, he's got that's right. He's got a flamethrower. Okay, so what do we get from this guy? Uh, hard frame engine. Okay, so I think there's five or six different components. Oh, that's exciting. Okay, so we have level five, and I think once we defeat a level five, then we get the the podium thing. Okay, let's take out this guy first. I'll take out these guys. So I'm gonna tell you right now, combat so far is uh, it has changed for the better. It it definitely feels better. I'm taking more damage. I'm not taking enough damage to be like getting killed, but that's also because I have I have some pretty decent suit upgrades. Holy moly! Oh, big guy. Okay, that guy's probably gonna hurt a lot. Oh, he's got a repair drone behind him. I don't think so. Out of here. I gotta take out this guy too. This guy's gonna keep calling people in. So now you kind of actually have to figure out who you're trying to attack and you have to plan. Cause like, obviously you gotta take out the healers first. And then we obviously don't want any of the triangle dudes in here. I want to take this guy out first and then we'll f we'll mess with the big guy uh combat shield recharge oh nice get out of here all right can we boop you with that oh we sure can brain protection panel Where's your other protection panel at? It looks like this side over here is taking the most damage and he is on fire, which is super cool. All right, combat shield recharge. Nanites received now. Did we get the pillar location? Walker brain. Notorious. We're going to take all of this stuff here. Because these things are actually worth stuff now, I do believe. Sentinel Hunter. Sentinel Nest revealed. Okay, signal detected. All right, let's go check that out. I don't think there's anything else to do with this guy. Where's this nest at? Oh, the nest is in a different planet. Okay. Oh my gosh. Yes. So the nest also is what's going to give us a chance at that royal multi-tool. Now, I don't know like the, the likelihood of actually getting that, but we're going to go try it. And then hopefully we get, you know, YouTube luck and get it the first try. I doubt it, but that would be so nice. Now, I'm going to guess just getting, even getting close to this is probably going to make some things mad. So let's just try to pop down right here. Oh, Sentinel Pillar. There it is. Uh, we've got some extreme toxicity here. We've got a whole bunch of guys to fight. I think we're in a storm right now. So I think we're going to wait for the storm to pass. Um, I'm going to go make sure that we have enough. Uh, everything's recharged. Good to go. And then hopefully the storm will pass. I think we're in a storm. I don't even know. Oh, we have a storm coming now. There wasn't a storm. So it was just naturally that toxic. That's fantastic. So I'm actually going to go ahead and try to land closer. So that way I can hop on my ship and get my uh, my toxic shields recharged. 
I wonder what happens if I land this close. Oh, you know what? They don't like me here. Well, it doesn't seem like they're actually looking right now. So I'm kind of in a pickle here. The storm is gone, but now that it's nighttime, there's extreme night toxicity. So I want to take a look at this thing. I want to see what happens here. Like, what if I go up to this thing and activate this? Warning boundary node exposed. Boundary ex vulnerable. Ooh, extract weapons technology. Um, oh, decline. Boundary exposed. Oh, can I do more? Shut down Sentinel forces. Positioning initiated. Immediate shutdown required. Override success. Planetary Sentinels disabled. And then access logs. Imposter detected override. Manifesting personal protocol. Voice of the hive. Aaron, routine protocol. Prey, experiment, shell, Sentinel. Once we had no need for visual manifestation or physical form, our invisible eyes would record, sort, delete the life and death of every world there ever was or would be. We had no thoughts, no personality, no dreams. Interesting. Okay, so these basically are... I mean, bulk answer ricochet. So like this, I mean, I don't, I don't, I, this isn't really what I'm looking for. So what can we do here now? Is that about it? So like, let's go ahead and log off. This is all shut down. Harvestable Sentinel technology. Sentinel's disabled. So what happens if I start shooting? No way. Okay, so I blow that up. Do I, do I not? I didn't get anything out of that though. It said harvestable Sentinel technology. Pillar node harvestable Sentinel technology. Let's go ahead and hit it. Nanites received. We're not getting anything from the drops. What happens if we destroy all of them? Nanites received. Can we destroy this main thing? Doesn't really look like it. You know, I kind of wonder if we weren't so... Oh, wait, hold on. What's this? Oh, hard frame engine. Oh, when we disabled them, they all got, they all died. So we got the, uh, we got the goods from those guys. Okay, that's kind of cool. Now, do we get anything from this? This doesn't do, take any damage. This is really neat. So from these, we have a chance to access the weapons technology and we have a chance to get a royal weapon from this. Okay, so that's gonna be really cool. Um, I don't really need that one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let that one go. And I don't think there's anything else we can really do here. What is this? Nothing, okay. You know what, just, just for funsies? Shoot a paralysis thing at it? I don't think it's going to do anything. Okay, nope, doesn't do anything. Oh, that is super neat. Okay, so we need to keep searching. So essentially, we need to um, basically go places, take out Sentinels to level 5, find these stations, and then try to find a royal weapon out of these stations. That is very cool. Now, I don't know if... This station right here is always going to give that particular multi-tool. So I don't know if this is something that's going to be like coordinate exchangeable where it's like, okay, there's a, a Sentinel tower on this place that has a uh, Royal type weapon. I don't know if those are going to be, if that's going to really work or not. All right. So this is my fourth Sentinel tower. And I finally got one of the new type of weapons. However, they're similar to the exotic ships. And I'm going to tell you why here in a second. So as you can see, this is the royal type of weaponry. This is the new type of weapon. However, it's a C-class. So it looks like you can get these new type of weapons in different classes. So C, B, A, S, whatever. 
So um, I am obviously going to take this one and buy it because look at even as a C class, it's 5.1 million, which is uh, look at better than it's more expensive than my uh, than my current A class. So um, these are going to be very interesting because they're going to probably have uh, once upgraded, they're probably going to have pretty good, uh, pretty good stats. I don't know for sure, but I'm going to go ahead and buy it because the thing looks sweet and I want to go ahead and check it out and see what it looks like uh, in person here. Let's go ahead and hit log off. But yeah, they, like I said, this is my fourth one, I think. Oh, wow. You can't even like see it really. Hold on. Let me, let me swap to, um, let me swap to the third person here and you can kind of see it. All right, here we go. So there, there it is. So your hand like goes inside of it. That thing looks sick though. Oh my gosh. But it definitely looks like the, um, the exotic class ships. Uh, that is super cool. I am loving it. And you know what? I got lucky with the color too. I got so lucky. So I'm going to pick this one up. Of course, uh, I'm probably going to go ahead and upgrade it all the way to S class because that's going to be my thing. But now, now that I have this one, uh, basically we're going, <laughs> I want all of my multi tools to be those. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going to have to do more. But let's see what what did this even have on it? Uh, plasma launcher, mining beam scanner, analysis visor. Yes, yeah, so we're gonna have to unlock some upgrades here. Some serious, serious upgrades. But oh my gosh, that is so so cool looking. There's our plasma launcher, mining beam. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's so good. Um, now also when you disable these guys they will uh they'll drop a canister and then these things right here will actually give you uh some nanites wow these are not very damaging holy moly my pulse splitter is way better than that but yeah we might work on this one this one might become our our war gun i guess if you will oh that is super cool though oh hold on let's see what we got over here hard frame engine um, so I have a bunch of these hard frame engines now. I don't know what they're for yet because I think they are for, uh, the Minotaur, but we're going to check. We're going to check and see. So yeah, super cool. I'm glad we got one of these. And I was actually curious cause it's weird. All of my, all of the ones I've gotten out of these have all been a class except for this one. This one is a C class, but I guess it's maybe, I don't know a step up if you will but yeah oh pretty cool pretty neat but thank you so much for coming out hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did like subscribe all the fun things uh next episode i think we're going to mess with a little bit more of the i want to jump into the ai stuff i want to get the minotaur out i want to get some upgrades on the minotaur and uh, i want to see how that works and how the minotaur helps us in combat and then another thing i don't know if i got one this time i don't see one last time i actually did get a map for a location so basically it just drops as a random thing um these are holy moly extract components extract components recover valuable items from sentinel scrap what did i get see i don't know what i'm getting from these what did i get from those i have no idea i don't know if i got something in here self-repairing wait did is that what i got hold on let's see Eight. Oh. Oh, Sentinel Exos. Oh, what? Exosuit fragment and almost upgrade for the beginning of the strange fragment. Debris from extracted from Sentinel technology. It, it's exact effect upon the suit is impossible to predict. Ooh. So there's some Sentinel Exosuit stuff too. But then we got, uh, we definitely got a self repairing thing out of that. Some Viking effigies. It looks like it's maybe any kind of random purple quality. Possibly. I don't know. Um, pretty neat stuff. But yeah, thank you. So oh, Sentinel Weapons Shard. That's pretty cool. Actually, let's go ahead and see what the Sentinel Weapons Shard is right now. Um, did that go into my multi-tool? No. Wait, where did the weapon Shard go? Oh my gosh, it was going into my starship. <laughs> exosuit fragment, exosuit fragment, exosuit fragment. Uh, exosuit fragment. Weapons shard. What does this do? 
doomed mirror this sentinel modification for the multi tool glows with a sinister purple light its circuits shifting each time they are observed a seeping nanite foam floods the module targeting rate of fire oh rate of fire plus five percent that's pretty cool go ahead and leave that in there uh but we got other upgrades too we got exosuit modules so um all pretty neat but yes thank you again for coming out hope you guys enjoyed if you did like subscribe all fun things like i said next episode we're going to focus on the minotaur and the ai module and the combat for that but now i need an entire fleet of these exotic looking weapons because they are super cool so um leave a comment down below let me know what you're thinking of the update what's your favorite part what's your least favorite part and are you excited about this update i'm curious to see uh but yeah thank you have a wonderful day i'll see you next time